special video that is not only showing you my bedroom makeover, but I'm also going to be talking about five of my favorite relaxing nighttime rituals. So I am going to start the video by talking about my bedroom makeover, and then at the end of the video you can stay tuned and we'll talk about the different rituals. So as many of you know, I live in New York City, and I have been in the same apartment for the entire time I have lived here, which is almost four years. At the end of the month it's going to be four years. And I really never took the time to fully invest in my bedroom furniture. We bought stuff from Ikea when we moved in, didn't really think about the design, we had no aesthetic, it was not calming, and it really wasn't a place that I felt really good about going to bed every single night. So I decided that I wanted to make over my bedroom. I wanted to bring more of a chill, relaxing vibe into the space. I wanted to upgrade the artwork. I wanted to upgrade my bed. Definitely, we were sleeping in a double, now I have a queen. I really just wanted to update it, make it feel a little bit more sophisticated and a little bit more calming and something that I felt really good about waking up every single day and going to bed every single night in. So I am going to give you a tour it's gonna be more of like a vlog style. I'll walk you through the entire bedroom, talk about the different pieces of furniture that I have, some of the decorations. Everything that I mention in the video is linked in the description box below, so if you wanna get any of the pieces of furniture or the artwork, anything like that, you can find it in the description box below. And then, like I mentioned, Stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm going to talk about five of my best relaxing nighttime rituals. So without further ado, let's go ahead, dive into the makeover part of the video, and then we'll talk about my nighttime rituals. Today is the day that we are going to start assembling some of the things. So I have all of the boxes here, and my family is actually coming. They're on their way up from my grandmother's house. They're gonna help me put the bed together, put the mattress all together, lay out the new rug, and I'm super excited. So let me show you what I have. All right, so over in this corner, we have a humongous rug. This rug is from Rugs USA. And then here are the boxes for the bed frame. That came from Joss and Main. And then I have this amazing new mattress from Oso Mattress. And it's one of those mattresses that comes in a huge box. So I can't wait to open it up and get everything assembled. What do you think of the new rug? Do you like it? Setting up the bed, everybody is in here. I'm gonna flip it around, say hi everybody. It's my dad, my brother, and my mom, and we're setting up the bed. Look at the new rug, doesn't it look so good? So the beauty of an Oso mattress is that one side is soft, and then the other side is firm, so you can sleep on it for a few days and test to see if you like the soft side on the top or the firm side on the top. So I tend to like soft mattresses, so I am going to start with the soft side at the head, and then if that ends up being too soft, I'll change it to the firm. All right, you guys, time for the big reveal of my setup bedroom. So I'm going to walk you through all of the different pieces of my bedroom, but this is obviously the bed area with the nightstands. And then over here, I have a shelf that I built with my vision board, and then I have some art over there, and then behind me are the dressers. So let's start with the rug. This incredible rug is black and white. You saw the full thing in the beginning of the video, but this is from Rugs USA. I love it. It is so soft, and I was worried about it shedding a lot, but it doesn't shed. It's like a nice kind of cream color, and it's just perfect in this room. It makes it so light. I have my bed here, so the frame, which you saw me setting up, is from Joss and Main. I love, love, love the color of it. The blanket right here, my bedspread, and the pillows, the throw pillows, are from West Elm. My sheets, which are flannel right now because it's the winter, are from Kohl's. And then the pillows behind here are down pillows that I also got from Joss and Main. How pretty is this pillow? It's like, ugh faux fur, it's so nice. And then I'll move you over here. So this is my nightstand. The nightstands are from Wayfair. 
and I love the color. They're kind of like a high gloss. They're beautiful. And then I have a diffuser right here. And again, I'll link to all of the stuff in the description box below. I also have this really cute light that I got at World Market. I went with black shades. I was thinking white, but the black looks really nice in here. So it's marble and like a gold and then the black. And then I also just have a little candle that I got at World Market and this is my journal. And then on either side of the window, we have a big window right here, which is right above the bed. These are just pictures of travels that we've taken. So the top two are London. That one is Portofino in Italy. And then on this side, we have more London, Germany, and that is Greece. So the curtains we got at Ikea. And then over here is the floating shelf. So the shelf I actually assembled myself. I just got a board from Home Depot and then it came white, so it's just a primed piece of board. I bought those little wall hook things. I forget what they're called. I think they're braces maybe. And I spray painted those and then I just screwed them right into the wall. I went with this kind of themed rustic look with my frames. I have Trevi of course, Paris, my family. Um, there's some more of Trevi over there and then a plant. Here is my vision board. I made this a couple months ago and I think I'm probably going to update it at some point, but I really like having that in here. And then on this side of the room is two pieces of art. I got these both on Etsy. This one is of the moon cycles and this one is kind of just like an abstracty, I think it's supposed to be mountains and the moon. And I really like them. They're in black frames from Ikea and these came, I will link to the Etsy shop below, but they came from Croatia, I believe. And you can get them in a bunch of different sizes. They have really cool art. And then here's my little pup. <laughs> And so now we are facing the dressers. So we have two dressers from Ikea. Honestly, I'm not a fan of these dressers at all. We got them four years ago when we moved into the apartment. This is just a kind of strangely shaped room and it's tough to fit stuff. So this works for now. They're really tall, they're clunky, but when we move, we'll definitely get rid of them. And then on top we have two mirrors that I got at Ikea. I have some dried lavender, which is just in like a cute little mason jar. We have our spare change jar. This is my little like moisturizer and lotion jar. And then I have some jewelry in here, just like random jewelry things. This is my stuffed animal that I've had since I was a little kid. His name is Raccoon, really original I know, but love him, can't get rid of him. And then this is my necklace thing. So I got this wall hanging thing on Etsy a while ago. I have a bunch of malas, I have some stuff from J. Crew. I got this really beautiful necklace while I was in Thailand, but I just like that it kind of like is rustic and it's a good way for me to organize my necklaces. But that is basically it, super simple. I will again, will link to everything in the description box below. If you want to read the full post about what I have, I talk a lot more about the amazing mattress that's underneath all of this. I talk about some ways that you can get better sleep. And then of course you guys can pick up some of the things if you want. So I hope you enjoyed seeing the makeover part of my bedroom. As you can see, it's really kind of white, bright. I went for the modern look and feel, but it's still cozy and homey. And now I wanna to talk to you about some of my favorite nighttime rituals. And I'm not sure if you can see in the frame, but I have my little love bug sitting here with me. She's cozied up on the bed with me. This is her favorite place to sleep during the day. She actually doesn't sleep in the bed with me at night, but she loves cozying up and sleeping on the pillows especially during the day. And so, like I mentioned, I wanna talk about five nighttime rituals that you guys can try to promote better sleep. So number one is to detox from your screens. This is really tough, especially if you're going to bed and you use your phone as an alarm, but try to disconnect from your phone, especially at least 30 minutes before you go to bed. So I personally sleep with my phone next to my bed, but I make sure that it's flipped on the screen side down so none of the notifications or anything like that come through and brighten up 
the room as I'm sleeping and I also try not to scroll through social media or anything like that right before I go to bed. So this ritual is really helping you kind of shut your brain off, get yourself ready for sleep and it will just help you fall asleep faster and it'll quiet your mind. My next tip is to sip a relaxing cup of tea. You guys know that I am a huge tea drinker. I absolutely love tea and I drink tea every single night. Even in the heat of summer, I always have a cup of tea at night. And I really like having a tea that is calming and soothing before I go to bed. So there are a few that I really, really, really like. My favorite is Egyptian licorice mint. I also really like the mint magic from Celestial Seasons. But then there are also bedtime specific teas that I think are really delicious. There's sleepy time, there's chamomile, and then of course there are other brands. <laughs> And then of course there are other brands that have teas that are specific for bedtime. So I recommend that you guys drink a warm, soothing tea before you go to bed. It really just helps you relax, helps you calm down. And I really think that once you start to drink it every single night, it becomes a ritual. And for me, that kind of ritual of drinking tea is what helps me get ready for bed. My third tip is to diffuse essential oils as you sleep. I have a whole video all about essential oils 101 and I talk about my favorite blend that I use at night. But again, I highly recommend that you guys try diffusing essential oils, especially if you have trouble sleeping. So my blend that I go to sleep with at night is a mixture of lavender, cedar wood, Sometimes I use a blend called Stress Away, and then I also sometimes add an oil called White Angelica. Those other two, the Stress Away and the White Angelica, are really optional, but I definitely recommend that you try the Cedarwood and Lavender blend because it smells amazing, and I swear I have like the deepest, most invigorating sleep. It's just awesome. My fourth nighttime ritual that I try and do every single night is turn on a five minute meditation as I'm trying to go to sleep. So you guys know that I use the app called Calm and they have a ton of different guided meditations and I really like this one that they have that's called Deep Sleep Release and basically it just is a meditation that goes for five minutes and you scan your body and it helps you relax the different muscles in your body and I find that when I do that, when I remember to do it, I have such a great sleep and I just feel so relaxed when I get into bed, it's amazing. And then my fifth and final ritual, which I guess isn't technically a ritual, but this is something that I highly recommend you guys try to do every single night, and that is get at least seven hours of sleep. I know so many of us are like crazy stressed out with jobs and work and kids and everything like that, but it's really, really, really important for our health and well-being that we get enough sleep. And when you get enough sleep, so many of your internal systems are working at their optimal levels. So again, your digestive system, your detoxification system, your lymphatic system, and all of the internal systems in your body, they need sleep to function properly. So I highly recommend that you guys try to get at least seven hours of sleep every single night. I like to set a reminder in my phone. I have an iPhone and I use the bedtime like timer. I guess it's like an alarm and it reminds me when it's time to go to bed. So if I'm getting up at 6.30, which is when I get up every single day, it reminds me at 10.15 that it's time for me to get ready for bed. So that's just a good reminder for me to head into the bathroom, wash my face, brush my teeth, get into my PJs and get into bed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would love to hear what you think. I've never done anything like this before. If you guys enjoyed it, let me know. Give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, we'd love to have you join this community. And if you guys want even more info about sleep and the importance of sleep, come check out today's blog post. I talk a little bit about how you can improve your sleep, why sleep's important, and yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna go give Chevy some kisses and snuggle with her a little bit before it's time for yoga. But I will see you on Tuesday in a brand new video and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye. Chevy, say bye.